I'm live. Whew. I 100% apologize for losing track of the day today. I didn't um, oh, it's three. remember that it was Tuesday, let alone 3.34 in the afternoon. So my apologies, fam. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Erica. Jeff is over yonder. Oh, and yeah. we are artists till death and we do a lot of resin work a little bit of other art stuff and we do a lot of product reviews today we're going to be going over these i've been excited to use those arteza water brush shiz it says premium i don't know if they have like a non-premium but this is what we're going to do today stay tuned I'm only going to get one. We're back. Like when it goes over us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks cool. It does. It looks super cool. Hey guys. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey. Hey. Hey y'all. Things are good here today. It's very quiet, which is, um, may not be the case later, but right now it is. So, okay, let's read some things. There are three, like, mm, pointy tipped, fine tipped, and three, not chisel tip. I guess blunt tip may be a good word for that. Um, join the Arteza Club and get 20% off your next purchase. Use that QR code. Bam. Um, you can use a helpful tips QR code, which I guess I should have done before hitting record, but I lost track of the day, so whoops. Um, distributed by Arteza. Guarantee if your product does not perform properly, you can contact them at returns at arteza.com for replacement. That's super sweet. Uh, other than that, there's really nothing else written on these uh, as the back of the packaging states. There should be three and three. However, I'm seeing, oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I read it wrong. So there's a small, medium, and a large of each get more pairs. size. A brush so for the pointy tip ones there is a small medium and a large point and then on the blunt tip ones there's also a baby bear a mama bear and a papa bear doop, doop, doop. hey guys doop, 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 doop. I love Arteza acrylic paints yeah they do have really really vibrant color Arteza um, acrylic paints today for this review um, I don't watercolor so I'm gonna try this out with um, I'm just gonna put this pin here to keep that camera focused I'm gonna put alcohol in this reservoir that should be holding water and use alcohol links with it hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all uh, B I need to know which one of these you are least likely to enjoy so I don't ruin it with putting alcohol in it well, why? Why did you ruin it? I don't know. That's what they're for, to, to experiment with. I don't even know. I don't know what, what's... Well, there's what a small, mean? medium, and a large of both this pointy tip oh, I didn't know. I thought they and were a just... blunt tip. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they were all different. So it is bristled. It's not like it's a soft. felt. It's going to be interesting how that... You can see how the uh, alcohol stays. Oh, I'm super pumped to see. So the I, I assume that you're going to be mostly concerned with these like pointy ones. I mean, either. I don't know. So I'm probably just going to grab the in the middle size of the blunt. No, I'm not. I'm going to get the small blunt one because I'm working on such a small surface area. Ugh. They look pointed like first, but then you like crack that seal in there. I don't know. 
should be fun. Super soft synthetic bristles. And I'm pretty so sure tiny. that the synthetic right. bristles are very important when you do watercolors so that they don't like. Um, in this kit, mm, kit, in this set, there's not an angled or a chisel tip there. It's just the blunt and the point. Um, so on here, I'm going to take these gloves off for a second so I can get a feel of this brush a little bit off. You're back in Texas after summer. Summer has just begun here. This is not the most ideal time to be in Tejas. It gets a real warm here. So the bristles are super soft and super smooth. If I push down, it doesn't splay out too bad. I don't have any like pigment or alcohol or water in here yet, but it's awesome that when you push down on it, it doesn't just like that's a technical sound effect, so don't worry about that. I will say I'm concerned about getting all of these bristles into this little cap without doing any damage because I'm awesome at damaging things. Um, on the handle, it has a little push. You can barely see where it says push right there. And so, oh, it's squeezy. So that's probably how all of whatever you have in here releases into the tip of this. And then, do I have to have tools? I shouldn't use my teeth, right? No. That's a no-no. Do I have a, um, something? I have something. Help me. What do you need? I need to get it. So if this doesn't screw, maybe I don't need help. JK, <laughs> thanks B, false alarm. I thought I was gonna have to take the back of this off to get the, anyways, it's fine. So I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol and I have it in a ketchup bottle because it's easier for me to control that way. <laughs> okay. I did spill, man. So I filled this bad boy up. I wonder how this works. Oh well. Worry about figuring that out later. All right, so we got this on. I'm excited and scared at the same time. So let's get these gloves back on. Going on, baby cakes. Can you add a pigment for shimmer with an AI brush pen? Can you add a pigment for shimmer? Like a shimmery pigment in the that reservoir? So for my initial test, I'm just going to see if I can... Is that a... I don't know what that is. They're doing they're construction I give up on that one. What's this? Magneta. Hello, Angela. So let's just put some of that down. And if I don't do any kind of squeezing at all, I can brush this out. So that's fun. Now, if I give it a squeeze, oh, I saw it like all like drip into this area. It almost looks like black ink was coming through it. Yep, there's alcohol in that part. So this is the, oh, you guys are super blown out. Please hold. Mm -hmm. 
You can see just brushing it side versus the with alcohol side. This may not be the best application for testing these out, but we're gonna give it a shot this way anyways, because it's what I had envisioned in the first place. So, I don't know if you guys were here when I wanted to try to do alcohol ink flowers. And I'm hoping that this gadget, who even a small squeeze will let that alcohol start flowing out. So I'm just giving a little bit of a squeeze just to get it flowing because I want it to push that ink that we have down already to get these kind of like crisper lines on the back side. Okay. One day I'll get the hang of these alcohol inks, y'all. I do have a commission coming up for another octopus. What? And another hummingbird. Like a for sure? Mm-hmm. Like, how, how for sure? Like, maybe put a deposit down. No, but... I really want to do, like, an oversized octopus. Um, tentacle piece to where it's, like, like that piece I did over there coming out of the water just, like, violently. Yeah. violently but like this y'all like how fun would that be like coming out of the water back into the water very sketchy very maybe that's what we can do for one of those where you start it like that and then you just put a whitewash over it so then you can add a little more detail put a little whitewash over that put a little more detail yeah I could see that working out really well. I'm going to switch colors in a minute so that um, you guys will be able to see a little bit better. What's up, Robline? How you doing? We're good. Lisa, I hope you had an amazing birthday. letting this dry a little bit without having to get out any heavy duty tools. A rose, right? A little bit. Does that look like a rose? Does that look like a rose? Mm -hmm. yeah. A chrysanthemum, mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. perhaps. Mm -hmm. It looks like a flower. Give me that, okay? Mm -hmm. I could wear it in my hair. It's so floral. I think it sets off the blue color really well. Also, the gloves. So if you squeeze it, the color gets more vibrant. So what happens is if I squeeze it, the alcohol is released into this reservoir and out through this tip right here. So I'm not squeezing it at all. It's just what's residual. 
And I'm pretty sure since I'm using alcohol inks, it's basically going to stain the tip of this. Which is why a second ago I was like, all right, Jeff, tell me which ones you want to use because I don't want to. That was just what I have left on here. I'm trying to work out all of the ink that's still on here, but I don't know. How long that would take. I bet if I just dipped it into some alcohol and let it sit there for a minute, it would probably work its way out, but you can see it's still very much on the pink side. So, now I'm wondering what would happen. Oh, I did, I ended up using quite a bit on that piece. It was full and now it's, is that about half? I don't know if you guys can see that. I was thinking that maybe it like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but for some reason in my head, it wouldn't run out that fast. I'm gonna pour a little bit of it out, and then I'm gonna drop. Ooh, I poured all of it out. Ooh, a paint shaker. A paint shaker. Oh. Like I feel like this paint doesn't get like shaken up enough. Like I, I, I had the guy shake it up at Home Depot, but. It just sitting like I wonder if it, if it goes if it separates. So Ow. I put <laughs> Jeff's having a little bit of issue with that. Um, Make sure you shake your paint thoroughly at home, people. He's doing canvas prep. Okay, so I added a couple drops of Cool by Ranger, and I want to see just what happens. If you squeeze harder, will more come out? Mm -hmm. That's what she said. <laughs> I still get super kick out of early. Out of the pfft. That's what she says. Alright, so I'm gonna squeeze it and see if it comes out blue. Oh, that was pretty fun, actually. I don't know why that was satisfying. So it is coming out blue. I wish I would have done this like test on a larger piece so I could really like paint paint but now that I know that it works I'm more likely to actually do that Jeff plugged in my this the other day because I'm really bad about remembering so thank you B if you guys don't know this is a duster that I got off Amazon I think it was like 50 bucks but it's totally worth it for me It's forty nine. What? Mm. 
Have an awesome day, Donna. So I think I may have too much alcohol in here and not enough ink because it really faded it out. I'm gonna put a couple more drops in. Ask them what size is a square or rectangle or um, you know, 30 by 15, like what, what is a good size that they look for in a square canvas? So you guys, when you guys get square canvases, what size do you look for? Comment there. And if you're, if you're watching this later on, just leave a comment in the comments. Let us know what's a good size that you would buy maybe one, two, or three of uh, off our website if we sold them. Okay, that was fun though. That's cute. Claire, I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to paint with these brushes. That's my... Thanks, Jude. 12 by 12. So we're gonna start carrying the square uh, cradle boards on the website and we just wanna know what size you guys are interested in. I should have known that you've worked with these before. You've done everything that's alcohol inky. Okay, I think I may be onto something. 10, 12, and 20. 12 by 12, 18 by 24, 24, 24, 12, 36, 15, 30, 30, 30. See a lot of 12, 12s in there. 12, 12 is a good size. 12, 12 is a good size to practice on and to sell for like. $25, $50. Like, that's a good size. People come up to your booth. Oh, that's probably way too much light. Sorry about that, no. Come up to a booth at a little arts fair and be like, hmm, I like that large one, but I'm not trying to spend that much. How about this smaller one? Which does happen. It happens quite a bit. I'm basically making a tie-dye heart and I'm super feeling it. Super. Clara said 40 by 40 girl. I am not shipping a 40 by 40 anything. Well, we'll make them. You can pick them up. Oh yeah, you, I'll, I'll make them. excited to see Jeff working with these brushes because he works more with paint brushes than I do. Out of control here, but I made a tie-dyed heart though. 
Um, you can order them on Amazon. I have a link down below this video, or should, to the Amazon. Nope. To the something. To the Arteza website. And thank you to Arteza for sending us those. See. You know Arteza sent those to us? Mm hmm. Thank you, cats. I did see those. What's y'all's favorite thing to make with alcohol inks? Is that your goal in a day, Clara? Let me see you. I don't know what this is about to look goal like. Goal in but. a day for what? They make me grumble. losing the on off button because I have resined with this so much. Mark it. Mark it. Your favorite is watching Claire do AI Dragon. She is pretty amazing with her AI Dragon. Even though I have the blue ink in here, it's um, it's not really taking on this pink very well. Maybe if I just do some relief and pick up the pink, it'll work better. These bristles do a great job picking up ink like this. I'm not even squeezing any more of the alcohol out. I would have thought that this blue ink that's coming out right now would be more purple since I have been using it in the pink so much so it doesn't seem to retain other colors when it's forcing whatever color you have in the reservoir out if that makes any sense whatsoever which is awesome which may be just what these synthetic bristles are about they look like they're clear kind of like those old fiberglass toys that like have light that will shine through them. I can't remember what they're called, but you know what I mean? They look like fishing wire. I don't know. Those little, yeah, the little fibers like back in the day with those little. Those like light up toys you get at like, like it the looked like or a, the zoo. Uh, a LED wire, but before they made LED wires. Yeah. That's what these bristles kind of remind me of, but more fine. And I wonder if that's why it doesn't, like if you look at it right now, it's got no pink on it even though i just ran it through the pink it's not even really purple it's just blue so that is a handy thing arteza I did wipe it off. 
I call this Sunrise Over Hearts. You're welcome. So I think I'm I think I'm into this Arteza brush. It's gonna take me a little bit of practice to get it down, obviously, but that's like with anything that's worth doing. It just takes a little time to really figure out the tools and how to use them. Obviously, watching a tutorial video would help, but I kind of prefer when we do like unboxings and new product review videos to kind of be really green about the tools because I don't know that that many people will watch a whole bunch of videos when they purchase something new but that might be just from my perspective I know when I get something new I just want to open it and play with it and see what it does and then once I figure out I don't know what I'm doing then I watch videos The thing is how you guys are here watching me do this. I'm going to assume you have a better idea of how to do things than I do because you're probably here trying not to waste time and materials. I need a shape to draw that's not a heart or anything that has angles. Let's just like henna it. Let's just do some Jeff swirlies. How about them apples? I hope I don't butcher this. <laughs> Fiber optics, thank you. Very good wording. Yeah, we did, um, we did, um, Everblend the other day. We're, we're going to revisit those. We did the video where we show you what it looks like if you don't have experience with them. And so now we're going to work on a video where we do a little research and use it proper. Well, we're hoping that they'll let us know, like, hey, we saw your video, this is what you should be doing, this is what you did wrong. Well, like it, it didn't come with instructions, so it was a little frustrating. Um, a couple of people sent me links to videos, like on I think on their Amazon they have links. Of proper uses. Beat the devil out of it, B. The tip stays loaded for a long time, which is nice. Because if you're like me, you'll forget how to make the paint come out. What out, Paisley. Lisa. Debbie, don't feel bad. I forgot about Tuesday as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is 
what Clara suggested. We'll do, you said half and half, then just do brush strokes randomly and build them up. Yeah, we'll try that. This is me halving the half. doing regular doing. I'm doing product review <laughs> I'm a watercolor brush but with alcohol inks because we don't do anything normal what are you working on over there <gasps> no <laughs> Man. It looks fun. Yeah. I liked my purple side too. Say what? What about it? No. Nope. Now it just looks like a cartoon volcano explosion. I guess I'm going to leave it though. It's one of those don't hate it, but not sure if I love it. Okay. This is a special home collection. This one right here. That's called Uptown Paisley. I'm gonna do yellow first, just in case I mess it up again. This is acetone, it would already have been evaporated. I'm gonna hit with some air. Of course, if I, I could just use a heat gun. Duh. more purple as per your request. Okay. So we changed our um, doorbell to be that bird sound thinking that the dogs wouldn't react to it because it's not a regular like ding dong that they are used to it took two days for them to be like oh that's what we're barking at now it's true okay so now since the tip is just a little on the yellow side, I'm going to start in the yellow. 
I feel like what's about to happen is I'm just going to pinstripe this. Clean this tip off real quick. We'll do a blended. But as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, why am I trying to blend a yellow into a purple when that color is never a cute color? I think I didn't really pick up that much of the purple. Until I squeeze it a little bit too hard here because it kind of like ballooned out. not depositing that much blue but it is moving the color back really well so as I'm like trying to clean this off I'm thinking about am I plucking out any of these fibers or hairs and I gotta say that the answer is no anytime you clean your brush like this you risk plucking out hairs especially if like you're using budget brushes and they I haven't lost one yet also notice it's not purple which I would have actually expected of any brush that's funny well Just make this cute. I bet that same design won't show up near as well on this side. But you never know. Let's get some alcohol in this tip. Nope. It's crazy how some colors will blend and move with the alcohol like this, the purple did. Like it doesn't look like the blue is showing up. It just looks like it pushed the purple out and kind of like relieved the purple ink. Whereas on the yellow side, the blue is deposited and it didn't relief it, it just added to it. That's, it's crazy to me. That has nothing to do with the brush though. That's just an observation about how alcohol inks behave. I give you a great idea for another video, Clara. So sweet. Hey, Maggie, where you been? How you doing? So, I have to say that I definitely like working with these. I'm going to have to try it on a like a bigger piece of Yupo so we're gonna be revisiting these guys I definitely like how you can kind of determine your stroke 
You know what I mean? Like if you pull up right here, it you can feather it out. That doesn't look very PC lids. Fill these in. Homemade gummies, that looks so fun. So yeah, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed by how these markers worked. Wonder how easy it is. <gasps> well, that's cute. How easy it would be to clean these guys out. like pretty easily actually there is a little bit of a blue hue to it but I think that's just because I haven't done extra pass in it I'll do it just for argument's sake but I'm not gonna do too many of those because um, alcohol is very scarce still Yeah, this is going clear again, which is very good to know. I know that if I just let these soak for a little while, it'll go back to being absolutely pristine. However, I don't have that kind of time and I don't have that kind of alcohol lying around. So I'm going to leave that as the finality of today's video. That is super fun. It's definitely awesome to be painting with something and not have to go from the piece that you're working on to a palette. So if you have a bunch of these loaded up, you could get a piece done in no time, I feel. So, um, Illumilite dyes can be used similar to alcohol ink. We did a test at Stonecoat's facility uh, two trips ago, and it worked out really well. Just remember that you have to seal it with um, resin because Illumilite dyes, I'm pretty sure, have to have resin in order to actually set or else I'll just continue to be fluid. No, not fluid, but reignitable. So just keep that in mind. Uh, resin question. If I'm doing a second coat of resin, do I need to stay in the first coat? Um... Officially, yes you do. Off the record, I've done very many second coats without sanding. The idea is that you wanna create a tooth because plastic won't stick to plastic. So, um, you have to create something to bond your second coat to the first coat. However, if you do it soon enough after your first coat, 
I would actually advise against it if you re-pour within like within 18 hours of your first coat. I wouldn't even bother with it. Clara, this is for you. I made it just for you, Clara. Next time I see you, we'll have to resin it. Oh, I need to check on the information about um, the whether the uh, guest suites are available. I do have Everclear. That is absolutely correct. I can soak that that um, marker in Everclear. I don't know how he knows. I don't understand, but Kujo always knows. When a video is coming to an end. I guess you can see him. But he's there. Lurking, waiting. Um, Sean, I, I haven't gotten your email yet. I haven't gotten two emails. I just actually got done answering all the text messages and getting caught up on those. Um, if you would like, if you want a quicker response, shoot that, um, whatever you said in the email to my cell phone two one four four zero two nine 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 six, and i can answer it quicker i will get to the emails it's just if you want a quicker answer that's the way to do it um i hope you enjoyed this review of the arteza water brushes i've used these kind of brushes before but they were super basic in that it was basically like this cutoff reservoir wasn't here and it was just like this thing that holds watercolor or whatever and then it had like the bristle part there was no middle to turn off the flow of what you had in here and because it was so basic and you couldn't cut the flow of whatever you had in your reservoir um, I really hated working with them because I had no control over what happened this kind of changes the game because you can turn off the flow of what you have in here. So I definitely give this a nine banana review because I still haven't figured out exactly what I'm doing with these. But I feel like this has so much potential and it's so well made and that none of the bristles came out um, that once I do practice with these, it'll easily jump up to a 10 banana out of 10 banana review. Well, come here then. Come here. Come here. Well, do you want to come here? Come here. Come here. If you haven't met the original poor pup, this is Cujo. He really wants to go outside and pee on things, so. I gotta take him out as well as Bowie, my little jelly bean that's over there on the corner of the couch. You can't see him, he's behind the stack of stuff, but he's over there. Thank you guys so, so much for watching with us today. Please check out all of these links that we have to see where we are on all the other social medias, all of the other times. Um, stay safe out there. And be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. Super special thank you to Arteza for sending us these uh, water brushes to review for you guys. Um, I have a link down in the bottom. You can get 15% off if you use our link. We do get a small, tea tiny little kickback for you using our link. It definitely helps our channel to be for free and for us to post every single day just for you guys. We love seeing your faces and um we'll be back tomorrow with another live feed stay tuned for that uh don't forget to subscribe like ring the bell for notifications and share with your friends so we can make it up to 50,000 subbies i hope that we make it there before too long 38. we are at 38 right now super pumped about that 
Hope you guys have the most amazing day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I say bye. Other groceries? I'll grab them on my way in.